welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a Coachella slash festival inspired makeup look. This is what it looks like. It honestly it took a while for it to get here, I'm not gonna lie, but it was definitely worth it. As you guys can tell, it's like very intense and extra, but obviously when you're going to a festival, you want to look your best and you know, everyone's gonna be having crazy makeup. I put some glitter and some jewels above my eyebrows just to make it more like extra and nice so if you guys want to recreate this look and follow along then just keep on watching okay so the first thing i'm going to do is spray my face with some rose water spray you guys know the drill so whenever i do my makeup i always always make sure that my skin is taken care of like i just use my rose water spray now i'm going to use an oil which i'll show you guys in a second this oil just really makes sure so that my face is moisturized this is the glow girl oil so I'm just going to put a few drops on my palm and then I'm going to mix it together and put it all over my skin now I'm using the Hawaiian tropic silk hydration after sun um, gel moisturizer it really just helps moisturize my skin so I'm going to use this much and obviously this is not supposed to be be made for like makeup or anything but this could be on like your face or your body and if you have really dry skin like I do I need to do anything to keep it moisturized throughout the day and it just smells really good too okay so now that our skin is ready to go I'm using a pore filling primer just to make sure that all my pores are filled and that the foundation like doesn't emphasize my words obviously now for foundation I am still going to choose I have quite a few here um, if you want a more matte look I would use the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation and if you want more of like a BB cream look I'd use the Laura Geller Quench and Tip Foundation and the Bally Body BB Cream together these are really good but I really want to try the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind um, foundation I have the concealer but I really wanted to try the foundation and I think I'm going to use it with this matte foundation because I think this one will be very like um, glowy and luminous so I kind of want to put the matte one in my t-zone and what's good about this foundation is that it has SPF it will obviously protect your skin from the sun because when you're at like a festival like Coachella you're gonna be under the Sun the whole time and then now we're going to blend it out with the beauty blender Alright, now we're going to take some concealer. I'm using the Born This Way concealer from Too Faced. I haven't used this in so long. And this is lighter than my skin tone as you can see, but that's okay because I'm using it to highlight um, just a little bit right here. That. Now I'm going to bake my face because I don't want to get oily throughout the day because that's not cute. I put this in my t-zone like I said. I usually don't get oily in my chin, but I just feel like I might as well just do it there. When I do my forehead, I usually try to avoid like the eyebrow area because for some reason like the powder just clings to my eyebrows and it gets like really cakey and gross and like it's just not a look. Alright, so I put a lot on just so you guys can see like what the real deal is, what the tea is. <laughs> um, so you guys can see that, you know, staying matte is work. It is some work. I'm going to take this powder brush and gently take off the bake of my forehead and my chin. The powder on my chin and my forehead don't need a lot of time to sink in because like I don't really get oily there. It's just mainly like my cheeks and my nose. Now I'm just going to spread the powder all throughout my face. So now for bronzer, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Sweet Tea Baked Bronzer, the Balm Bahama Mama Bronzer, and the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I like to use a lot of bronzers, so I'm first going to take these two matte ones, and then I'm going to go into the Sweet Tea one. For some reason, the, my bronzer isn't really um, blending on this side. I don't know why, so I kind of feel like a little little blob um please ignore it <laughs> okay so i'm just using the sweet tea bronzer from Too Faced just 
going to lightly go over the bronzer. Just a little quick luminous look I'm trying to go for. So I'm using my favorite blush, which is the MAC blush in the shade Peaches. Um, it's a matte blush. Okay, so for eyebrows, I'm just going to comb them out really quick. And then I'm just going to take some eyebrow gel and kind of style them how I want to. And I'm just going to kind of like um, comb them up in a way just for like a nice messy look. I always do this with my eyebrows. Alright, so now I'm going to zoom you guys in. Hey, now I'm going to do my eyeshadow. I'm just going to, of course, of course, of course, prime them. So I'm going in with the Too Faced I Want Candy Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm going into the shade Banana Cream Pie right here. I'm just going to put this all over my lid so that um, it kind of sets my eyeshadow primer. I'm taking the shade Cream Puff, and I'm just putting this pretty much all in my crease, and also on my lid. Now I'm going into the shade Pastry right here, and I'm going to pretty much do the same exact thing and put it in my crease, but I'm not going to put it on my lid. Taking the shade Hot Chocolate, I'm going to put a little bit in my outer corner. I don't want it to be too dark, but I do want a little bit of dimension. So I'm going to keep it just like this. I'm not going to add any like shimmer on my lid or anything because I like it how it is right now. And um, trust me, it's about to get a little more intense, so don't you worry. For my lower lash line, I'm going to go back into the shade Cream Puff. Put that all on my lower lash line and then I'm going to take pastry and hot chocolate and put it on my outer corner all right now I'm just going to curl my lashes to prepare for falsies what's up hey bro so I'm going to take these Ardell lashes and um, they're pretty natural hopefully this turns out well and if it doesn't then Alright, so I'm gonna go put these on and I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm back. I just lied into my lashes. Cassidy did them. Um, she's doing your Hey, yeah, um, she did my lashes because I literally can't do them. I tried for like 20 minutes and it didn't work. So she did them for me um, and then I put on some mascara. I put on the CoverGirl Total Tease Mascara. You guys know my favorite mascara. And then I put on my lower lash line. All right, so I forgot my highlighter inside and I'm too lazy to go get it. So I'm using the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette and I'm using the shade of Butter Pecan. Um, and it doesn't really matter anyways because I'm gonna use some glitter. I don't have to use highlighter, but if you want to, you can. Okay, so now I'm just going to use some glitter um, it's from this brand this is just at a local makeup store and then I'm using the beauty creations glitter primer so I'm going to mix kind of like the silver white shade and a little light pink together okay so I'm just gonna put it on my face and then we're gonna like blend it out really quick but I just want to make sure I put it everywhere Popping at a festival, buy glitter. Like you're back in Nationals. No, actually. Insert photo of me in Nationals with my. Actually, insert one. Yeah. <laughs> with my makeup like this. So I'm going to apply the glue with a little brush. I can get all in there. I'm just going to put that right there. Okay, so we have these jewels. These are actually like nail art. But like the lady at the store said I can use it with. um some eyelash glue so hopefully she was right about that we're gonna take that same eyelash glue that I use this is a Vegas Nay eyelash glue and okay so I'm just gonna put them on the back I'll show you guys like how I do a couple and then I'm gonna turn off the camera because this might take a while
yeah if you guys can get some tweezers or something that'll be a big help because it's pretty hard to put on so I'm gonna go finish this up really quickly and I'll be right back definitely if you're doing this get a friend to help you because it takes too long to do it by yourself so I mean I don't think it looks long thanks if you guys miss me Oh Give this gosh. video a thumbs up if you want another video with her because like, why not? Since there's like a lot going on right now and you know I'm not the person to wear lipstick like at all. So I'm just going to use this Steve Laurent lip gloss. And now I'm just going to put on some setting spray. I'm using the Too Faced Hangover RX. Okay, we're done. And now I'll just show you guys what it looks like up close. When I think about you, my feelings can explain. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this is going to be a very long video, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I've never done something like this, and it actually turned out very well. And if you want to see more videos like this, or better if you want to see like um, like um, Coachella or like festival outfits if you guys need help with that make sure to let me know down below thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week bye